Hello friends, uh, in this lecture we will discuss some more basic definitions, ok? So this is continu continuation part to the previous lecture. So, ok, so another definition is free branch or twig. You can call it as tree branch or as twig. So, so, so what do you mean by a tree branch or a tree or a twig? So I need to draw the same same ex same example again here. So see, this is the graph, and this is one of the tree for this graph, right? The tree consists of branches two, three, and five, and every node is connected, and there is no closed path. So this is my tree, right? So what do you mean by tree branch then? See, the name itself says that it is the branch of a tree, right? So, the branch of a tree itself call, itself is called as tree branch or twig. That means, see, this is, my, this is my tree, right? This is my tree which is derived from this graph. So, this is my tree and 2, the branch 2 is my twig. Branch 5 is my twig and branch 3 as well is my twig so this is nothing but your twig right as simple as that so how many number of tree branches can we find in one single tree see we got expression for how many number of uh, trees and how many number of co trees right so how many number of tree branches or how many number of twigs can we find in one tree so we even have expression for this so number of twigs in a tree is equals to n minus 1 where n is always your number of nodes so see <coughs> number of nodes are 1 2 3 4 right 4 minus 1 3 so number of twigs you can find you can find in one tree is 3 so see here 1 2 3 right so uh, it is satisfied or ex our ex even the condition is satisfied sorry you know according to formula it is 3 and according to our explanation according to as we drawn here we found it as 3 right so yeah this is your twig and coming to the next definition which is your this is tree branch and next de ne and you can guess what can be your next definition this is that it's absolutely co tree branch or you can call it as link or you can call it as chord right so please remember these three names okay so I'm considering the same example here again so I'm mentioning the directions this is my branch 2 this is my branch 5 this is my branch 3 this is my branch 1 this is my 4 and this is my branch 6 right so so the branch of so the branch of a tree is your tree branch right uh, then obviously what what will be your coterie branch the branch of a coterie is your coterie branch or link or cord as simple as that see see this is my tree right this is my tree so this will be my coterie am i right so when this is see here from here your coterie is what coterie forms with the branches 6 1 and 4 right 1 4 and 6 right so your 6 is a link and your 4 is a link and your 1 is a chord chord is nothing but link right i'm just trying to confuse you that's it so your branches of your coterie is nothing but your link or chord or coterie branch that's it so number of links can also be given can be given by formula number of links in a tree is equals to b minus of n minus 1 where n is your number of nodes and b is your number of branches okay and c twigs and links twigs and links are example specific okay you please uh, write this point in your examination if they asked okay if they ask question about your twigs and links 
fixed and links are example specific i mean to say see here for this uh, for this example uh, number of picks are found to be 3 and for the same example number of picks are found to be number of links are found to be how many links so your branches are so your branches are 6 here right so 6 minus n minus 1 is 3 so 6 minus 3 is equals to 3 here so here we got number of branches is equals to number of picks is equals to number of links but it is uh, it is not we cannot guarantee that every time we get number of links and number of picks are same these are these are example specific if the example changes the number of picks and number of links may also change sometimes number of picks may be 4 and sometimes number of links may be 5 and these are example specific these are based on example they, they, they are not fixed that is what i mean to say okay example specific means these picks and links depend on example they vary from one example to another example okay so this is the expression for finding out number of links or number of chords okay so let us move to another one called edges okay edges so again i'll consider the same example so yeah i've considered the same example so what do you mean by edge what do you mean by an edge okay so see here this is my d right here ad is an edge similarly ab is an edge ac is an edge bc is an edge and bd is an edge and cd is an edge so one two three four five six there are total six edges for the same for this example so what do you what i mean by edge is edge is nothing but connection between two nodes got it c a b a and b are a and b are two nodes and a b is connection between two nodes so a b is my edge a and c are two nodes so a c is connection between a and c so a c is my edge likewise uh, a b b c b d and c d are my edges here we have six branches okay so there are six edges right and what do you mean by branch branch is also connection between two nodes right so even i have uh, six six edges six branches here so i have six edges and six branches right so does it mean that edges and branches are same no absolutely not see i'm uh, if i have something like this one I have, I have some other branch like this this will be my seventh branch right so does it uh, this is this will be my seventh branch so what can we say for this for this picture for this graph i have seven branches and how many number of edges is it seven or six if you say seven it is absolutely you're absolutely wrong six edges they are it doesn't matter hundred branches are repeated again and again still it forms all together as an edge see it doesn't matter how many branches you repeat it all together forms only one edge that means you know 100s thousands number of branches you form between two nodes it all together considers as only one edge okay branches are different edges are different okay see this is my eighth branch ninth branch tenth branch eleventh branch so all together i'll have 11 branches and only six edges got it so there is again an expression to find out number of edges okay so number of edges is given by n power sorry n into n minus 1 by 2 this is expression to find out number of edges so and let us quickly move to another definition which is your uh, number of node pair voltages number of node pair voltages before okay before going to define this number of node pair before going to define find out the expression for number of node pair voltages what do you mean by node pair voltage the name itself says node pair voltage right right that means voltage between a pair of nodes that means see this is my a node this is my b node so vab is my node pair voltage that means between these two nodes the voltage which is present is called node pair voltage so vab is my node pair voltage and vbc is my node pair voltage vac is my node pair voltage and um, 
VBD and VAD, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and VAC, VAB, VBC, yeah, VBC, I, I wrote it, right? VBD, VCD. So, VCD is my node pair voltage. So, all have 6 node pair voltages here, right? So, uh, is it is it necessary? So, why? So, here, see. 6 node pair voltages right so the expression for number of node pair voltages is n power n minus 1 by 2 where n is your number of nodes I forgot to say here n is your number of nodes always okay n is your number of nodes so this is the expression for number of node pair voltages so here node pair voltages are node specific that means it depends on number of nodes here I have 4 nodes right for this example I have 4 nodes so I got 6 uh, 6 node pair voltages if the number of nodes changes the number of node pair voltages also changes so it is node node so number of node pair voltages are also node specific and even edges are also node specific it depends on number of nodes right so yeah so let us uh, quickly observe some some points here there are some points to be observed which are very very important you always uh, commit mistake at there so I'll quickly discuss two observation points okay the first one is C here I've considered VAB right VAB and why not VBA why not VBA this is my question so C if we know VAB that means voltage if voltage from that means A at higher potential VAB means a at higher potential, B will be at lower potential, right? So A at the A there will at A, at A there will be plus sign, at B there will be minus sign, right? VAB means so if we know VAB, it is necessary for us. Is it necessary for us to know VBA? Absolutely not. Because if we know VAB, then we'll definitely know VBA, right? It is just a sign change, it is just a matter of sign, that's it, right? So see here, even if we have C this so that is what I mean to say. If we know VAB. Uh, we know we need not to consider VBA okay this is the first observation and if for even it is same for all the cases VBC it is need not to consider VCA okay VCB VCB so that is the case first case first observation and the second observation is C here node pair voltages are 6 right 6 in number because it is it is we very well know that node pair voltages are node specific right even if we consider infinite number of branches across two nodes even if we can see connect even if we connect infinite number of branches across an edge across an edge uh, node pair voltages are 6 only because see the voltage across VCD is always fixed right uh, parallel volt you, you very well know voltage is uh, same for parallel branches right VCD the, the same voltage will be here 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 and voltage across parallel branches are same so these are two observation points even if we consider infinite number of branches across an edge the voltage number of node pair voltages will be 6 because voltages across parallel branches are same and this is all for this lecture I hope you got uh, some important you, you all got these important definitions and in this in the next lecture we'll discuss some important very important topics like incidence matrix and tie set matrix cut set matrix okay so stay tuned and thanks for watching this video lecture and please do not hesitate to share the share the like knowledge so thank you thank you so very much bye bye